Good morning, friends. Welcome to Rambling with Red Yarn. I'm so glad to see y'all this morning. Thanks for tuning in. Are you ready to get rambling? Well, good. Where do you think we should go today? Hmm. What do you think? Looks like maybe a trip to the farm? I don't know. Let's get that animation rolling. All right. Here we go. I'll make it take you to the deep woods where the critters make you feel good. I'll make it take a walk down on the farm and do some dancing in the old barn. I'll make it take you around this town, backyard to the playground. Or maybe we can take a gamble. Or maybe we can go rambling. Oh, I'm gonna take you rambling, farm to the forest. Fast as a hare, slow as a tortoise, scrambling the briars and brambles, ambling long to explore this land, then amble back home to our families, singing the chorus we're rambling, singing again we're rambling. Woohoo! All right, y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in. Are y'all ready to ramble? Great. I'm so glad to see you today. How's everybody feeling this morning? Can you show me on your thumbs? Are you feeling so-so? Are you feeling pretty good? Are you feeling really good? Are you feeling super duper excited to be together? Yeah, me too. Y'all wanna have some fun today? Good, how much fun do you think we should have? Maybe like uh, this much fun? More than that, like this much fun? More than that, like this much fun? More than that? Stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you wanna have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. You remember how we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me by the way, and my critter friends come around? What do we like doing for fun? First, we love singing together. Put one finger up in the air like this if you love singing like I do. Good, let's warm up our singing voices. Take a big deep breath with me. And let's sing, la, 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 beautiful. Put two fingers up like this if you like dancing too, who likes to dance. Nice, let's warm up our dance moves. Everybody give me a little wiggle, so I know you're ready to dance. Good, uh, raise one hand if you like animals. Excellent, because I brought a bunch of critters with me today and they can't wait to see you. And raise both your hands like this and stick your tongue out like this and go, ah, if you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly? I think that's a great idea. I would love to get silly together this morning. We'll also talk about some serious stuff. We usually do, but I know that y'all are really good at switching back and forth between silly and calm and silly and serious. I know you can do that. Can you do that? Good. Well, friends, there's something that we haven't done in a while on our show, but I think it's something that we should start doing again and start practicing again. Over the spring and summer when I did my homespun show from home, every morning we practiced doing something before the show started. And I think we need to start practicing doing that again. Does anybody remember? Was anybody watching those homespun shows? What did we always practice? It was something really simple that we can do to keep ourselves and our families and our communities safe during this time of the coronavirus. There's a lot of things we can do. We can stay home as much as possible. When we do go out, we keep safe social distance. We wear masks, especially people who are over five years old are supposed to be wearing masks if they're out in a public place, right? We limit the number of people we're seeing. And there's something we do every time we use the restroom or eat or go outside or come back inside. What's that? That's washing your hands. So can we practice washing your hands? Everybody get your hands ready. Here's what we're going to do. First, turn on the faucet. Shh, get a little water on your hands. Nice. Turn off the faucet. Shh, squirt some soap on your hands. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Good. And let's start rubbing them and singing. Wash your hands together like this. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Now rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. Rinse your hands together. Rinse, rinse, rinse your hands, rinse your hands together, and dry, dry, 
dry, dry your hands, dry your hands together. Dry, dry, dry your hands. Now clap your hands together. Woohoo! Thanks for washing your hands with me. I hope you're doing that and all of those things we talked about to keep yourselves and your families and your communities safe. It's so important that we're all doing our part. Now there's one more song I want to sing before we say hello to our friends and see a critter and start singing with the guitar. Let's sing a beautiful day. Everybody make a sun in front of you like this and try singing this with me. The sun has come up, the rooster has crowed, and I'm wide awake. From my head to my toes, my friends are all here. We're ready to play. A good morning to you. It's a beautiful day. Yay! Let's see which of our friends are here today. Let's see who all's watching and is ready to ramble together today. Who we got there? Um, we got Elliot. Elliot's ready to ramble. Hey there, Elliot. Um, Ava's watching. Hi, Ava. Eliza's watching. Hi, Eliza. Mateo is here and is wondering if I could do Possum today and have him play dead. Oh, Mateo, I know you've been waiting to see Mr. Possum. He actually came out last week, but I'll, I don't have him with me today, but I'll bring him back soon and he'll do his whole funny thing where he plays dead. But if you want to go back and look at last Tuesday's episode, Mr. Possum did come. He didn't play dead, but I'll have him do that again soon. Thanks for remembering. Um, Ava turned, Ava is here and she turned five on the 14th. Happy birthday, Ava. We'll add you to our birthday song today, okay? We got one other birthday shout out. I'm going to add you to Ava turned five. Awesome. Um, Margo and Dash are tuning in and they are wondering if, what was their note? If we could, oh, you can tell us how to make mockingbird wings sometimes. Absolutely, y'all. Um, another friend for their Halloween costume asked me about that. So I sent them some instructions. I'll show you how we did that in our music video. Leo and George are here. Hi, Leo and George. Uh, Rosie and her LOL dolls are here and ready to dance. Hi, Rosie. Um, Robin and Willow are ready to ramble. Hi, Robin. Hi, Willow. Ava and Maddie are here. Hi, Ava and Maddie. Mabel's watching and says hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Not goodbye yet, Mabel. Keep watching. Hi, hi, Mabel. Nicholas and William are ready to ramble. Hi, buddies. Hattie's here and ready to ramble. Hi, Hattie. Um, Tripp and Elena are watching. Hi, Tripp and Elena. Nora, Zoe, and Daddy are ready to ramble. Hi, Cooper family. Good to see y'all. Rylan and Owen say hello. Hi, Rylan. Hi, Owen. Emma and Evie are here. And Evie are here. Hi, Emma and Evie. Great to see y'all. Annie says hi. Hi, Annie. Irene's loving the background music as she stared at herself in the mirror. Six months today. Six months old today? Oh my goodness. Happy six months, Irene. That's so exciting. Oh, Megan's family's remembered to wash their hands. Good, good, good. Colette and company are here. Hi, Colette. Phoebe and Asher are here. Hi, Phoebe and Asher. Cyrus is here. Hey, Cyrus. Eva's here. Hi, Eva. Kai says hi. Hi, Kai. And Lorenzo is watching. Hi, Lorenzo. And Rosalie's here. Hi, Rosalie. If I didn't say your name, make sure your grown-up types it in the comments. And I'll go back and say hello. I love getting to say hi to our friends. Well, friends, should we check in on our critters? Oh, there's one quick thing I want to do first. You got you all hold tight. There we go. All right. Sorry, that was bugging me. That's better. Okay, cool. Let's check in on our critters. Let's see who came along today. Oh, it's one of our favorite critters. It's Miss Molly Cottontail. Would y'all like to check in on Miss Molly? She See how she's doing today? Good. Let's call her out in a big voice. Everybody say, come on out, Miss Molly. Come on out, Miss Molly. Hi, everyone. It's me, Miss Molly Cottontail. Say hi, Miss Molly. Hi, I'm glad to see you all today. We're glad to see you too, Miss Molly, and I'm really glad to see that you are being super safe. Can you all see what Miss Molly has on? I'm wearing a mask, that's right. Have any of you been wearing masks lately? Raise your hand if you've tried wearing a mask. I know some for some little, little kids, it's not as important and it's kind of hard to keep a mask on their face. But some of the bigger friends who are watching probably have practiced wearing a mask. Miss Molly, why do you wear a mask? Oh, I wear a mask for a few reasons. First, I wear a mask to keep myself safe because if there's germs going around and stuff, it means I don't breathe them in. But even more important than that, 
I wear a mask to keep other people safe, to keep my friends safe. But Miss Molly, how does you wearing a mask keep other people safe? Well, if I'm wearing a mask, then any germs I might be breathing out stay right here in the mask and they don't go out in the air. So not only does it keep me safe, but it keeps other people safe too. That is so cool. That's so cool how masks can work like that. Grown-ups, have y'all been wearing masks? I sure hope you have. Yeah, here in Oregon where we live, um, the governor has said any time we're going outside, really any time we're going outside, even if we're just walking around the neighborhood or going to the park, grown-ups should be wearing masks and kids over five should be wearing masks too. And I know it seems kind of weird and I know it can feel kind of funny, but it is so, so, so important. So I hope all of you are practicing wearing masks anytime you're outside or inside with someone who's not in your immediate family. Well, keep it up, y'all, because if we work together on this, we, we hopefully can, can get back to normal life before too, too long, okay? Sounds good, Miss Molly. Thanks for coming out and reminding us about our masks. You're welcome. Now let's sing a song about me. What do you say? I say that sounds like a great plan. Okay, be safe, friends. Bye. Bye, Miss Molly. Bye. All right. Thanks so much, friends. Look, I have my mask, too. I got a new one. It's made of cloth. I like it. Kind of matches my jeans. Yeah, and I, w I wear it anytime I'm going out, anytime I'm going on a walk. I've been going on jogs while my son rides his bike and I wear it at the park while I'm jogging around. And it's, once you get in the habit of it, it's really easy to do, right? It's not so strange. So I hope you're practicing doing that too. It's so important that we all do that right now. All right, y'all. Let's sing a song about Miss Molly Cottontail. There's a few old folk songs about Miss Molly, but this is one of my faves. It's called Molly Cottontail, and I almost dropped my guitar. Keep it together, Red Yarn, keep it together. Okay, let's see. Oops, glad I caught it. All right, now in this song, you can hop like a rabbit, you can dance around, you can wiggle your cottontail. You know how to wiggle your cottontail? Let's try. Here we go, y'all. Molly wants to dance with y'all. Even if we can't be together in the same room, she still wants to dance together. Y'all gonna dance with Miss Molly? Ain't there somebody? Dance a little Molly. Ain't there somebody? Dance a little Molly. Dance a little Molly. Ain't there somebody? Gonna dance a little Molly. What do you think, y'all? Ain't there somebody? Dance a little Molly. Dance a little Molly. Everybody wiggle it, everybody wiggle, everybody wiggle your cottontail, everybody wiggle, everybody wiggle, oh Molly Cottontail, won't you be sure not to fail, woohoo, oh Molly Cottontail, thanks for dancing along, thanks for singing along, that was so fun y'all. 
Right, let's see another critter. What do you say? Let's see if we got any more shout outs. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, Kayana is here. Hi, Kayana. Wes and Levi are here. And they couldn't wait till Tuesday to be together again. Hi, buddies. Oh, and some of our friends are saying, yes, they are always wearing masks. I'm so happy to hear it. Thanks for doing that. Thanks for doing your part to keep your community safe, y'all. Let's see another critter. Let's see my friend Shiloh the Squirrel. Sweet Shiloh. Let's call out Shiloh in our sweet little voices. Everybody say, come on out, Shiloh. Come on out, Shiloh. Oh no, Shiloh's feeling kind of shy today. As usual, Shiloh gets shy sometimes. Say, it's okay, Shiloh. It's okay, Shiloh. Oh, Shiloh, Shiloh, Shiloh. Come here, buddy. Can I hold you? Hold on to you for a second? I'm going to hold on to Shiloh for a second. Shiloh, what's the matter? Everybody say, what's the matter, Shiloh? What's the matter, Shiloh? Oh, I'm feeling nervous about the coronavirus again. Oh, Shiloh, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. I had started to feel a little more comfortable. It seemed like things were kind of getting back to the way they used to be. But, 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 but then I heard that because it's fall and winter time and people are having to stay inside, that in some places it's getting worse now and I'm feeling worried. Oh, Shiloh, I know that feeling, buddy. It is worrisome, right? Have you all been talking about that in your families? Yeah. It's true. In some ways, in some places, the, the coronavirus has gotten worse lately. More people are getting sick with it. But you know what that means? What does that mean? That means that we have to work even harder and we have to remember more than ever all the things that we can do to stay safe. Um, like what, Red Yarn? Oh, we were already talking about them today, like staying home as much as we can, limiting our trips out to stores and things like that. When we do go outside, wearing our masks, keeping our distance, washing our hands really good as much as possible, not getting together with as many people. You know, I think right now in Oregon, they're saying only six people from two different households can be together in the same room at the same time. And that's hard, especially with the holidays and stuff coming out. And really important, if you feel sick at all, what should you do? Uh, probably tell your grown-up. Yep, tell your grown-ups if you're feeling sick at all, like a sore throat or anything. And definitely stay home if you're feeling any kind of sickness. Well, so those are all things that we can do to try to keep ourselves and our community safe? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to know what to do, but there are things that are in your control that you and your family can do to be safe. Well, I'm glad to hear that. That makes me feel better. Okay, well, I'm going to hunker down with my acorns in my cozy little hole for the winter time and ride this thing out. And hopefully maybe in the spring or summer, that vaccine will be ready and we'll be able to get together again. We sure hope so. Everybody say, be safe. Shiloh. Be safe, Shiloh. Thanks, friends. Hey, and let's sing a song about the old times and the big adventures I used to go on. That sounds good. Everybody say bye, Shiloh. Bye. Bye, friends. Bye. So maybe you've heard that good news, too, is that um, some different companies are working on these things called vaccines. Have you heard of vaccines before? Probably when you were a little baby and anytime you go to the doctor, you've gotten some vaccine shots. Those are to protect you from some um, certain illnesses. And they're working on a vaccine for the coronavirus. And there's two big companies that are doing a really good job bringing those vaccines um, to the public already. And so hopefully, 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 maybe by the springtime or summer, those will be widely available. And we can start rebuilding and getting back to... Um, is some of the ways that things used to be. It probably won't go back to totally normal for a long time, and maybe normal will be new. Maybe there will be a new normal, but um, but it, there's definitely a lot to be hopeful about. All right, in the meantime, y'all, let's go on an adventure with Shiloh the Squirrel. Let's sing that fun old folk song called Hop, Little Squirrel. Y'all ready to hop with me? On the count of four, let me see your best little hop. One, a two, a three, a four. Hop, 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 hop. Well, hop little squirrel, hide alum, hide alum, hop little squirrel, hide alum, dum, hop little squirrel, hide alum, hide alum, hop little squirrel, hide alum, dum. One day Shiloh was going along feeling very hungry. 
So where is he gonna go to find his acorns? Where do acorns grow? Up in a tree, right? Up and climb a tree. Climb, 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 little squirrel. Out of love, out of love. Climb, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb. Climb, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love. Climb, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb. He climbs up to the top of the big tree and he finds a giant acorn and starts munching on it. Everyone pretend like you're munching on a big acorn like this. Munch little squirrel, out of love, out of love, munch little squirrel, out of love, dumb, munch little squirrel, out of love, out of love, munch little squirrel, out of love, dumb. He's munching on an acorn when who should come along but a big dog. And the dog starts barking. Everybody bark like a dog with me. Shallow gets very scared and he starts to run away. On your mark, get set, run! <laughs> He's running and running, and he gets to a great big creek rushing by. What sound does water make when it's rushing by? Whoosh. And he thinks, how am I going to get over this creek? I guess I better jump up in the air as high as I can on the count of three. Y'all ready? A one, two, three, jump, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, jump, little squirrel. And he's flying through the air like this. A woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo, a woo. But he doesn't quite make it over, and he falls in the water with a great big splash, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, splash, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb, splash, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, splash, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb. Now he's in the water. What's he gonna do? What do you gotta do when you're underwater? That's right, you gotta swim, 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 little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, swim, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb, swim, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, swim, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb. He swims to the other side. He pulls himself out of the water, and he's dripping wet. But he doesn't have a towel or anything to dry off with. How's it gonna dry off? He's got to shake, a shake, a shake, a shake, shake, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, shake, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb, shake, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, shake, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb. He's shaking and shaking. All the other critters got around. They see him shaking, and they think he's dancing. They think he's starting a big dance party. So on the count of four, we're going to have a dance party. Y'all ready? Here we go. A one, a two, a three, a four. Dance, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love, dance, little squirrel. Oh, they're having so much fun dancing, they don't even notice that the sun goes down. But they all start getting kind of sleepy. So they all stretch out and yawn. <sighs> and they all put their heads down like this. And they all start falling asleep. Sleep, little squirrel. Out of them, out of them. Sleep, little squirrel. Out of them, dumb. Sleep, little squirrel. Out of them, out of them. Sleep, little squirrel. Uh, oh, did I fall asleep in the middle of the show? How embarrassing. Thanks for waking me up, everybody. Give yourself a big round of applause. Woohoo! Yay! All right, friends. Well, guess what we have today? We have got a couple of birthday shout-outs. Give me just a second here while I defog my glasses. <laughs> and let's celebrate a few birthdays. Raise your hand if you have a birthday. So do I. I think we all do. Raise your other hand if it's not your birthday, but you are so excited to help a couple of our friends celebrate theirs. Me too. All right, I got one birthday written down before the show, and then I learned about another one during the show. So I've only got one of them written down, but we'll give them both a big shout out. It is our friend Mabel's fifth birthday today. Everybody hold up five fingers, and let's give Mabel a big high five. One, two, three, four, five. High five, Mabel. Mabel, you live in Somerville, Massachusetts, right? That's a long way away from Portland, Oregon, but I'm so glad you could tune in on your birthday. Happy 50th birthday, Mabel. And then we found out that our friend 
Ava also just had her fifth birthday. So hold up your other hand with five fingers and let's do another big high five for Ava. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. High five, Ava. Mabel and Ava, five is such a fun number. I think five is like when you really become a big kid. I know four-year-olds, you sometimes feel like you're a big kid, but once you're five, woof, you're a real big kid. That means you're probably going to start kindergarten this year, and that's really exciting. And there's so many other cool things you might do when you're five. Maybe learn to ride a bike or start learning to read. There's so much cool five-year-old stuff. So let's sing happy fifth birthday to Mabel and Ava. Can you do that with me? Here we go, y'all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mabel and Ava. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Make some noise for Mabel and Ava, y'all. Woohoo! Happy birthday, Mabel. Happy birthday, Ava. I hope you had or have super duper fun birthdays celebrating with your immediate family. Maybe you can wave to some friends from the porch to the sidewalk, or maybe you can have a Zoom and see some of your family and friends near and far. If anybody else in your family has a birthday coming up, friends, please let me know, because I'd love to shout them out on my show. Um, I always, on each episode of Rambling with Red, Red Yarn, if I have birthday shout outs, I love to say hello and sing happy birthday to your kiddos or family members. I can also do um, some pre recorded custom videos for birthdays, and I can also do Zoom birthday parties where I guest at your birthday party on a Zoom call. So if that's something you're interested in, grown ups, um, let me know. You can send me a Facebook message or you can uh, email me, redyarnproductions at gmail.com, because I love doing that kind of stuff. Oh, one other thing while it's on the top of my brain. Um, does anybody, is anybody here in kindergarten? Is anybody, any kindergartners watching today? One of my favorite things in the whole wide world to do right now is to visit kindergarten classes on their classroom meetings, whether it's on Zoom or on Google Meet or however kindergarten classes are getting together. Back in the old days, one of my favorite types of gig, gigs was to visit a kindergarten class in person and sing songs and do critters for kindergartners. But I've had a few chances to visit kindergarten classes on their virtual meetings and it is so much fun. This is kind of a different time to be starting kindergarten. So if you're interested in having me come visit your kindergartners school classroom <laughs> virtual visit, let me know. And around the holidays, I'm going to do a special promotion because I feel like that's a nice way to sweeten the deal for kindergartners is to get a little special visit in their classroom. So if you know a kindergartner and you want to sponsor a little visit to their classroom from me and my critters, I would love to do that. So let me know, y'all. And also, if you think that would be a sweet thing to offer to a, um, a school, maybe a low-income school where, where they don't have access to that kind of thing, let me know and I can we can hook that up too. All right, y'all. Let's see another critter. Ava says, thanks for the birthday wishes. Yay, Ava and Mabel. I'm so glad we could wish happy birthday. Okay, friends, I got another critter here who some people find a little bit scary. But uh, you're brave kids, right? I know you're brave kids because you're doing such a good job growing and adapting and staying strong and positive during this hard time. So let's practice getting brave. What do, you like, what do we like to do to get brave? I like to sit up straight or stand up straight. Put my hands on my hips like this, make a very brave face like a superhero, and I like to say, I am a brave person. You say, I am a brave person. It takes a lot to scare me. It takes a lot to scare me. Okay, I hope that's true, because this next critter is pretty slithery, and pretty scaly, and pretty sneaky, and very, very, very snaky. Oh, hello, sweeties. It's me, Miss Snakey. Say hi, Miss Snakey. Hi. I hope I didn't scare you when I popped out like that. I just get really excited to see y'all, you know. Oh, we know, Miss Snakey. We know that you're a sweet, non-venomous snake, right? Right, totally. And I get really excited, so sometimes I pop out like that. But I hope I didn't scare anyone. I just was really excited to say hi to my friends and check in and see how they're doing. Are y'all staying strong? 
We stand strong. We're trying our best, Miss Snakey. Are y'all staying brave? We're trying our best. It's hard to be brave sometimes. It's easy to get nervous sometimes. But I think our families and our friends, we can help each other be brave, right? We can we can re-encourage, we can uh, encourage each other. We can uh, uh, lift each other back up. And it's good to remember all the things that you are in control of, all of the things you can do. I overheard y'all talking about all the ways that families can work really hard to stay safe right now. Those are all things that you can control and you can do to keep yourself safe. So I hope you all keep doing that. Stay strong, stay brave, stay sweet. Before I go, can we hiss some kisses? Can everybody hiss a kiss to Miss Snakey? And can we do some big snakey squeezes too? Can you give Snakey a big pretend snakey squeeze? Thanks for the hisses and the and the squeezes. Y'all are the sweetest. I'm gonna get slithering on, but I'll see you soon. Bye, sweeties. Say bye, Snakey. Bye. All right. Thanks for being brave with Miss Snakey. And thanks for working so hard to be brave every day. Y'all are awesome. Let's sing another old folk song. Today is an all folk song kind of day. We're going to sing another old folk song, one of my favorites. It's called Rattlesnake. Now, Miss Snakey is a sweet, non-venomous snake. But y'all have probably heard of a rattlesnake before, right? A rattlesnake is venomous, very dangerous. They sometimes live like in the desert. And when a rattlesnake feels threatened, they rear up into striking position and they shake their tail and their tail's got a rattle in it, right? If you have a maraca at home and you want to shake it along to this song, you can. Otherwise, you can help me keep the beat. Here's what we're going to do. Three stomps, one clap. Three stomps, one clap. Three stomps, one clap. And repeat. Okay, so hold up your stopping foot. Hold up your clapping hands. Whoa, try to keep your balance. And let's get it going all together. Here we go. Stomp, 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 clap, stomp. Stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, 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 clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Keep it up, friends. Stomp, 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 clap, stomp, stomp, stomp. Rattlesnake, oh rattlesnake, what makes your teeth so white? I've been at the bottom all my life, and I ain't done nothing. Next one's about a little groundhog. Pretend like you're digging a tunnel, like a groundhog. Can y'all dig with me like this? A dig, a dig, a dig, clap. Groundhog, oh groundhog. What makes your back so brown? It's a wonder I don't smother back. Like a rooster with me, go strut, 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 clap, strut, 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 clap, stir, oh, stir. What makes you fall so hard? About a big J bird up in the sky. Everybody flap, 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 clap, flap, 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 clap. J bird, oh J bird. What makes you fly so high? I've been robbing you, compatch all my life. It's a wonder I don't die. Rhythm practice. Somebody clap your hands real steady and count to one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Those are quarter notes. Let's try going faster. Let's do some eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 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 let's just count on the uh, clap on the off beat. Can y'all do that with me? Try this. This is tricky. We're gonna go. 
and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a one and a two and a three and go back to stop stop Nice work, y'all. Thanks for singing along. All right, friends. Oh, we have a few other joiners. We have got, yeah, my buddy Jake. I don't know if he's watching today, but I'm doing a visit um, over the Thanksgiving break for the French American International School here in Portland. Um, and my buddy Jake goes there and is super excited. I'm going to get to do some video visits with them. And Leaf and Finn tuned in. Hi, Leaf and Finn. Great to see you, buddies. Hey. Let's do some critter portraits. Sound good? Everybody buckle up. We're going to do some critter portraits now. Here they come. Critter time, portrait time, critter. All right, friends. I'm not sure what's going on with that little Critter Portraits theme song. It looked like it was messing up a little bit. But we've got some great critter portraits to show you today. My friend Delaney drew this beautiful portrait. I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing. Can y'all guess which critter that is? Yep, that was my guess too. I'm pretty sure it's our friend Shiloh the Squirrel. You can tell by that big bushy tail. I really like the way Delaney did Shiloh's face. You can see Shiloh's smile and teeth and eyes and then that big bushy tail which she added some extra little um, bushy hair on. That's so beautiful. And she wrote really clearly, to Red Yarn, love Delaney. Thanks for sharing this critter portrait, Delaney. Delaney and Delaney's sibling, Sylvan, worked on another one together. And this one is, yep, you guessed it. It's me, Red Yarn. <laughs> you see me there? There I am in my plaid shirt, my checkered shirt, and my guitar. I got my red beard and my hat with my red headband on it. Oh my gosh, it's a spitting image. Nice, Delaney and Sylvan. I'm so touched that you'd draw this sweet picture of me. Thanks so much for sharing your portraits, friends. All right, let's see who's next. Ooh, this was Mabel. Mabel, the birthday, the birthday kiddo who's turning five years old today in Somerville, Massachusetts, shared this beautiful portrait of Miss Molly Cottontail. It looks like she's out in the garden picking carrots and flowers. Oh, Mabel, is it raining too? Maybe there's some rain coming down to water the garden. And look at Miss Molly with her big smile and her ears and her blue dress with pink polka dots. Oh, it's so colorful and so beautiful. Mabel, thanks for sharing this artwork on your birthday, no less. It is so great. I'm going to show it to Miss Molly after the show. And finally, this one's, this one's really interesting, you guys. So my friend Mia, who used to live in Portland, where I live, but then she moved to Montana with her family several years ago. But for her school, I think she's in like maybe third grade or something. For her school, she was supposed to make an autobiographical map. So it's a map with a lots of details and drawings of things that are important to her. And one of the questions was, what's one of your favorite childhood memories? And I am honored and touched that Mia remembered coming to Red Yarn shows when she lived in Portland. So you can see there in the middle that she drew the Red Yarn forest and it's got a big bushy orange beard in the middle, Red Yarn's beard. This is so cool, Mia. I am so honored that you would think to include me. And, I, and my goodness, you're becoming such an incredible artist. It's so detailed. Your other zones are soccer. Um, Mia is an athlete. She plays soccer on Soccer Island. Apollo, I think that's the name of her cat. There's a robot. Cool, I like that robot land. Um, Silver Mountain. Ooh, is Silver Mountain a cool place you get to go sometimes? And the zoo, maybe a place she likes to visit. Look at all these fun details. 
I just love maps. I love imaginative maps. Some of you may have seen some maps. You see a map at the beginning of my rambling show. If you have my album Deep Woods Revival, you've seen a map there. So I love that Mia is a budding artist and cartographer, a map maker. This is so cool. And Mia, I'm just so honored that you'd include the Red Yarn Forest on your autobiographical map. So thanks for sharing that with me, kiddo. All right, y'all, big round of applause for all the Critter Portrait artists today. Yay, yay, yay. All right, y'all, let's see what time it is. Cool, we got time for one more song. We're gonna close it out today with one last soft, sweet folk song. Some of y'all might remember this one. This is a beautiful old song from the African-American spiritual tradition. It's called This Little Light of Mine. And this song always brings me and my family comfort um, when times are challenging, in the winter months when it's getting dark outside, and in these months ahead where we're working really, really hard to keep con coronavirus under control, I hope you can all find some really bright spots in the midst of some of the dark times. So everybody hold up a finger like this, like you got a candle, and that candle can be all the love in your heart, all the brilliant ideas in your brain, all the creativity and joy and hope you have inside of you. Let's hold them up really high for the whole world to see. Rock them back and forth and sing this little light of mine. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Make a big circle and sing all around the world, all around the world. I'm gonna let it shine all around the world. I'm gonna let it shine all around the world. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. How about with the ones I love? Everybody, imagine you're giving a big hug to someone you love. Big hugs with the ones I love. I'm gonna let it shine with the ones I love. I'm gonna let it shine with the ones I love. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. How about this funnel one? Well, I won't let anybody it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let anybody it out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let anybody it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. How about both hands up like big bright stars in the sky and big beautiful voices? Let's sing it all together, y'all. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Thanks for letting it shine so bright. I can feel you shining all the way from wherever you're watching. Thanks for sharing your love. Thanks for working so hard to stay safe, families. I so appreciate all the work y'all are doing. I know some people can't stay home. Some essential workers are still out there on the front lines working hard every day. But we so appreciate their work and everyone else working hard to keep um, their communities safe. So keep it up, y'all. We can do this, right? We've done it for uh, how many months has it been? Nine months already? Uh, we can keep doing it for a little longer, right? Eight or nine months. I know it gets tiring. Whew. And it's a lot of family time, whew, which is a good thing, right? Yeah, it's a good thing. And kiddos, you're doing such an amazing job adapting. Those of you who are doing school from home remotely, that is such a new thing to learn how to do. Those of you who are going into a school but being really safe while you do it, that's a big, brave thing to do. So I just feel like 
air hugs all around. Mm, keep supporting the ones you love. Stay connected in whatever safe ways you can on Zoom calls, phone calls, letter writing. Anything we can do to stay connected in this, this time is so important especially as we rethink what the holidays might look like in a time like this. So I'm sending my love and appreciation to all of you. Thanks so much for connecting here. It keeps me happy and sane just be having an outlet and a, a chance to see y'all a couple times a week. So thanks for tuning in. Hey, if your family's in a position to support, you know there's a few ways you can do that. On Venmo, you can send a donation at Red Yarn. On Cash App, you can do a money sign Red Yarn. There's a PayPal link in the Facebook post. And you can support on an ongoing basis on Patreon. I share with Patreon supporters sneak peeks of my upcoming videos. And also, just this last week, I started sharing some unreleased songs. I was digging through my old files and realized I had a whole trove of songs that didn't make it onto other albums and demo recordings of songs and stuff. So I'm going to start sharing those with my Patreon supporters. So get on Patreon if you want to hear some, uh, some Red Yarn B-sides coming up, okay? Hey, y'all, uh, help me out with something. Uh, get your chompers out like this. And repeat after me. Say, see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really gotta go. Well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. How about a high five for good singing and dancing? A pat on the back for good listening and safe bodies and a big hug for being such sweethearts. Mm. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks to my buddy Aaron Nigel Smith for engineering. And uh, thanks everyone for all your support. Be safe out there, y'all. I'll see you on Thursday, okay? Mwah. Bye.